Now, local sports from KYMA News 11. You will know you can work hard and be better. And that's why they always push me to find my dreams, fight for my dreams. A local prep student athlete is taking his talents to the next level. Welcome back, everyone. Kofa King senior Aziel Viegas has signed his letter of intent with Waldorf University out of Iowa. Now, Viegas has had to overcome a lot of obstacles to get to this point in his life, recovering from a collarbone break his sophomore year, and even more recently having to take a leave from the program because of a family emergency. Even though Viegas didn't get a lot of playing time while on the varsity squad, his persistence in contacting different programs across the country helped open the door for a partial athletic scholarship at Waldorf, a true testament for anyone to not give up on their dreams. Viegas explains to News 11 Sports why his recent letter of intent signing is very important and personal all in one in his own life. First, it was a little bit stressing. I know it was like I'm going all the way to Iowa, but once I was about to sign, I was like, this is right. It felt like I accomplished something that not many in my family have achieved. So I, I felt pretty happy. I felt stoked and just excited to for the next season. Pending on when social distancing mandates are lifted, Viegas plans on attending Waldorf in the fall, and he will likely be competing for a spot on the roster as an attacking midfielder. Continuing to honor our local seniors who could not play one last final season due to the coronavirus, tonight we celebrate track star Brielle Hill. Her head coach described her as one of the hardest working kids they have had in the program. Continuing to add, she has been the epitome of you get what you give. She's had some bumps over the last year or so, but she was ready to explode into her senior season and show people what dedication and hard work can get you. She is also a three-year varsity volleyball athlete with Gila Ridge as well. Some of her accolades, she's a three-year state qualifier, finished 14th in the Division II in the 200 meters in 2019. She's also a defending city champion in the 100 meters, 200 meters, and 400 meters. Congratulations, Brielle. We honor you and wish you the very best with your future endeavors. And finally, the NFL released its 2020 schedule earlier tonight. The season opener is set for Thursday night, September 10th, as the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs take on the Houston Texans, a game that can be seen right here on NBC. NBC's Sunday night football opener is an NFC matchup featuring the Los Angeles Rams debut in their new stadium, Sophie Stadium. If everything goes as planned, the Cardinals will open up against the 49ers on the road for their season opener on September 13th. We're done with this round of sports. There's more coming up right after this.